guys. You guys seen it right there. Uh, we pulled up. We seen this red leopard iguana, but we had to take them out, guys, because we got to take out all the iguanas in this area. But real quick, guys, I just wanted to show you the pattern of this lizard. Is it me or is it just a coincidence that it's the same exact color as the roof tiles? I don't know, guys. Are these iguanas learning to adapt to their surroundings or is this just a whole nother subspecies, guys? Drop some comments, let me know. We're trying to figure out what and why this phenomenon is happening with the red leopard coloration. And how long does it take? You know, how long does it take for him to switch to green, to red, and then back? Exactly. I, I don't it, know. Exactly, guys. It's mind-boggling. There's a lot of questions that we just need answers for, but that's why we have you guys watching these videos so you guys can help us out. In the bag. Bagged him, tagged him. Boy, oh boy, do I have something to share with you guys right now. Look at the size of this big female iguana that I just caught. Guys, I think this might be new record, biggest female iguana caught. Check her out. Gee, Willikers. She is huge. The weight, just the scale of the shoe. That's a size nine and a half shoe. Look at the size of that female right there. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh her up. Because you guys seen we caught the biggest male on record so far, 15.2 uh, pounds. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if we have the biggest female and we'll see how much she weighs. Got it right here. Okay. okay before we even weigh her, check her out. That's her right there. And I just wanna confirm with you her gender, just so there's no mistaking. As you can see, no hemipene indention, indention right there. And there's no femoral pores. They're very small. And she's got a small head right there. No massive triangular head, but she has a big head. But, Zero. Go ahead and hoist her up. As you guys can see right there, 7.35. There she goes right there, y'all. 7.3 pounds, female iguana right there. State record, if anybody can beat it, show me some proof. But that right there is the biggest female I think I've caught all year. Absolutely insane, she's almost 10 pounds. She's 7.3, just goes to show how massive these animals can actually be. <clears throat> In the breeding season, this one would definitely have 60 plus eggs. So this is a really, really good one to get off the ecosystem. And it takes a female a really, really long time to get this massive size right here. But I'm so glad I gla bagged her. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. Let me know, guys, if you think this is the biggest female I ever caught. There you guys can see the weight. 7.36. Guys, we got a giant iguana. He's taking me under this bridge. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Giant iguana. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This thing is a monster. Oh man, he's barely snared. All right, I might have to put this camera down real quick and go see if I can land him. It is barely around his face. He was right here. As soon as I got him, he just dove right in and he went completely under this bridge. Guys, this right here might be a new world record. We need to land him and we need to weigh him. Stay tuned. Oh, man, I cannot believe that just happened, y'all. Wow. The snare was just right, right around his face, not even past his jaws. That thing was massive right there. That thing was at least a 14, 15 pounder. Dang. He's gone. He's gone. Look what he did. Look at the poop he made. Sheesh. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. He was gone though. There's nothing I can do about it. Because the snare was just right around his face. Not even past his jowls, so. Yep, there he goes right there, y'all. That's a monster right there. That's a giant. That's like I said, hands down. I know for a fact he's at least 13, 14 pounds. Like I said, he's not ready for that though. I was just about to leave and I seen him. His head just poking out right there. 
I was able to get them off for a little bit, but sheesh. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy. I just jumped out the tree. Oh, he's gone. Check it out, y'all. We're out here. We're about to do a little fishing. We're with the Iguana Ninja. You know what it is, what it isn't? Look what he spotted right there. An Iguana, right by the bridge. Look at that. Look at that hole. That was a fat hole. There's another hole right there. Look, there's holes all over this place, guys. Holy moly. That's insane. All right, Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars is on. Let's go. Go ahead. I got you. Don't don't let him escape, bro. Oh, no. He's good. He's coming, he's coming in hot. He's coming in hot, boy. He's coming in hot. Oh! He's coming in hot. Oh! Let's go. Golden Jack. Yo, he marked it. Let's nice, go, dude. bro. Oh, whoa, something just rolled out there. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Oh, perfect. Oh, shoot. Don't move it. Oh, my God. Yo, there's mad Jack in the building. They're starting to get... Holy moly, they're starting to get feisty. That's insane, dude. Perfect sandwich size Jack. Yo, he's too nice of a fish to eat. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good, bro. Just only like the, that. Only the baby ones were used for bait. Yeah, yeah. Two, uh, two minutes, two jacks, and two nice size sandwiches right there. Those oh are that's God. good eating right there, y'all. You're up next, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> we're on again, boys. We just shook the shum bag, and Ponsor's right. got eight. You coming got a fish? Hot, boy, coming in hot. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a catfish. Oh. Uh, catfish. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, shoot, something still, still a bite, I guess, right? Yeah, a bite's a bite. A thump is a thump. Fish is a fish, huge. Oh my god, bro. I gotta get him out of there. Oh my god, take your time. He's not going out. Yeah. Take your time, Roddy. Yo, this is a, a, a five five foot cooter right here. No, Oceanic cooter. Oh. oh! Don't let him break you off. You got Jesus. wire on, right? Yeah, I got wire on. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, my God, bro. It's coming in close. Oceanic cooter. He's going to go for another run. He's going to go for another run. All right. Do we have a net or a gaff? Oh, oh my God. I'll land him. All right, we got, we got John, the expert right here. He's going to see if he can land this beast. He's this, coming up, he's coming up. This is an oceanic cuda, guys. Oh my god. This is the one that can grow up to seven feet long. Yo, it's my PP cuda right here. Oh my god. He's gonna go for a run. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yo! Oh, let's go, baby! Yo! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 oh my god. No, he's good, you're good, Roddy. Oh, he's gonna jump! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! You see that? That's a big ass shield. Oh no. No, 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 no. Shit. I'm gonna get him out. I'm gonna get him out. Alright, alright. Just hold him. Just hold him right there. You're good. He's moving. He's moving. It's okay. Guys, we have a oh giant oceanic kudo on right now. He's massive. Oh my god, he's ripping, bro. He's ripping! <laughs> Let's go! Yo! yo. <laughs> what a eat, yo. What a eat. I'm gonna bring him in, yo. I'm gonna bring him in right here. I'm gonna beat him. All right, careful. He's got a lot of energy. Guys, oh huge oceanic barracuda. Five foot, oh, oh shit. look at him. Yo, someone grab him. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Oh, 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 grab him, oh. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Grab him by the gills. Grab him by the gills. No, no, be careful, he's sharp, he's sharp. Snap. Hold on, hold on. He's caught, he's caught. I got him. Yo, John got it, John. John, you had one? Yeah. Oh my God. Yo. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. Grab him by the gills, John. Oh my God. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> Be super careful, that girl is super That's sharp. a keeper right there. Oh, oh, careful, oh. Be careful. Shit, get behind him if you can. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, he's good. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all seeing this? Jesus. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. Where's the net? Where's the gas? Oh, my God, yo. Yo, hold, yeah. hold this. Hold this. Yo, um, take it. We got him. We got him. Oh. Woo! Yo, Jesus. let's go. Oh my God, this is my biggest cuda ever, bro. That thing's massive. Yo, he smashed it, yo. The whole sardine on top of it. I love carpet. Oh my, did you see him jump at first? Dude, that was insane. Oh my God. That was insane, bro.
G, look at the hook set too, yo. All right, so you know that they don't live long, Roddy? Oh, what, what, what are we gonna do with them? Yo, we're gonna, we're gonna send them back. Send them back. We're gonna yeah. send them back. Send them back. He's way too big to keep, way too big to eat. Yeah. And, uh, way too big to keep, way too big to eat. Yo, I, I threw the whole sardine like a lure, working it. He didn't feel the hook the first time, so I know he's gonna You want this or not? Nah? Okay, he don't want it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I'm gonna take the hook out and we're gonna send them back, yeah. bro. Dude, that was legendary, bro. Oh my God. That was legendary. That's crazy. You need to get a picture with him, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold him. Hey, you definitely need a picture with that. That's crazy. That thing's thing massive. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. That's the biggest one. You do I've not want to get bit by this thing, bro. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta pick them up. Trust me, y'all. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I ain't trying to get bit by that thing, yo. Was that that's bigger than the one no, you I'm, caught in the, no. on the boat? Uh, be careful, be careful, yo. It's about the same size as the giant. Be careful, be careful with that. Here, hold this, hold this. All right, let me get them off. I got them. Jesus. Do we have a measuring tape? No, put them, put them by the rod. All right, hold on. There we go, homie. See my rod real quick. Yep. Oh, my God. Hey, God. Go ahead, Literally put just rack. got here. We'll measure it first. All right. Put him straight. Yep. He's good. There he is. Jesus. That's huge, dude. It's jumbo, That's bro. Nice Damn, he's coming up all the way to the right here. Yeah. Yes. Yep, right there. A little bit past that. Damn, right. bro. Cool. Get a pick and let's send him on his way already because he's going to die. Get him right. up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. Get the spawn if it's Yes, sir. Go ahead, go ahead, right? You know how we do it. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh my God, he's Go so under the gill, right here. He ain't gonna do nothing. No, I'm so. I'm gonna get him. Let's go. Okay, okay. Hold him like right here. All right, cool. Get the stall in there. That stall put him to work. How's it look? It looks beautiful. Fire. Oh, on into what for a sec. Get back. Get the GoPro yeah. underwater release. Yep. All right, guys. Right, revival. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, put the GoPro. We're here. We're here. DJ got it. We're here, we're here. Just go, just do your thing, Roddy. Oh my God. Put that in water. Oh my God, yo, this is crazy. Try to, put it, try to put the GoPro out by the big rock. Yeah. And then go, he should get, swim get past it. Right oh my God. You go in there, CJ. This is a straight torpedo right here. Put it in quick, put it in quick. He might shoot yeah, up. Yeah, there you go. Put it, put it, shop it in. Go, Yeah. Just like fine. that, just like that. Right, back, back and forth, Roddy. Yeah. Oh man, like a damn torpedo, bro. That's, like, that's oceanic right there, bro. Jesus. What you doing way up here, boy? Oh. Yeah, just, no, you're good. Ready to go, bro. Oh, wait, just make sure he's good, so we don't want him to float off. Let's see if he's good. Let's see if he's good, already. Huh? Let's see if he's good. Ready to go up? Yeah, see if he's good. Jeez, bro, I thought he was a tarpon at first. Woo! That was huge. That was oh, crazy. Snapper. Oh, snapper right here, Roddy. Right? Bunch of snapper. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of snapper. A school of them? Yeah, school of snapper. School of snapper. All right. Crab, crab. There's crabs, there's snappers. Oh my God. Yo, that about wraps it for today's episode, yo. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe, man. That was absolutely crazy. There's a whole school of fish right there, too. I see them. Yep. It's crazy, keeper snapper. bro. Crazy. So this roti is like kind of like double this roti, huh? It's Stop bigger. It's they call it baked. That's what they call it, y'all. I don't know why they call it baked. Because we're not baking it, we're frying it. But that's just the name of it, okay? Morocco. But this dish became famous Morocco. in Morocco's Trinidad. Okay, that's like one of the big beach cities out there. A lot of tourists, a lot of locals, and a lot of sharks, a lot of hungry people. So this dish was invented out there, created out here. And we're actually gonna be trying it today, y'all. It's like a nice, big, fat shark sandwich. It's gonna be really good. Look at that, it's getting nice and crispy. And I think I know why they call it baked, because you fry it, but it comes out like you baked it. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Drop some comments and let me know. That right there is looking, ooh, taste it, taste it. Yeah, buddy. Shark and bake, coming soon.
We're gonna go ahead and get the bake. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. It's nice and soft. So you're gonna open it up like kind of like a pita. Get the slaw. It's fried cabbage. Put it in there. It's a slaw. Yes, it is. Put a little bit of that salsa in there. Mm. Very nice. And then get nice pieces of the shark meat. Drop it right up in there. It's a little bit on the messy side, but it's okay. And then we have the, the, the favorite condiments of Trinidad. We have some Bertie's original uh, pepper sauce right here. Perfect for a hot mouth uh, established Trinidad and Tobago. And we have some ketchup. Just, you know, just a typical uh, condiments of a fish sandwich in the Caribbean. Boom. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wow, look at that. Look at that right there. That, that don't make your mouth water. If you like seafood, I have no idea what will. Wow. Some shark and bake. Denny McKenzie's challenge. Nice. All right, y'all, check it out, y'all. So right here, we have the shark and bake. This is just kind of just a little bit naked. But as you can see, the goods are inside the bake. Like I said, it's like our version of a fish sandwich, but we use shark and we use a fried pita roti type of deal. Let's go ahead and try it because I'm starving right now. Hold on, night, night. Hold on one second. Mm. Mm. That right there, y'all. Big fat pieces of shark filet. Nice, kind of sweet, a little bit spicy slaw. And then it has the perfect vehicle delivery system of the of the of the bake. AKA the roti, aka the pita bread right there. Mmm. Fresh seafood, right in amount of spice. The perfect way to eat it, it's not super messy, although it can be like any food but everything just kind of binds together and it's absolutely phenomenal. I didn't even put no hot sauce on it. It's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit hot, but this is absolutely good right here. Like I said, y'all, y'all seen it right there, catch, clean, and cook on a shark. A lot of people get them, they fin them, they throw them away, but they don't realize that shark meat is actually really good. Look at that white meat right there. What do sharks eat all day? Fish, other animals. They're not out eating trash. So the meat is really good. The thing is, as you guys seen, once you catch a shark, if you're gonna harvest it, you gotta euthanize it right away because they will taint the meat by kind of urinating with their swim bladder through it and kind of make it taste like ammonia. Also, the perfect size shark to harvest is anything under five, six foot. Anything bigger like that than that, you have the chances of mercury poisoning because it's an old animal, it's been eating a lot of fish and there's a potential that mercury could be in the meat. Two shout out to everybody at home for watching. I'm about to finish this sandwich. Um, huge shout out to Iguana Ninja, huge shout out to Outdoor Bryce, huge shout out to all the subscribers. This right here is absolutely fire. Comment down below if you would ever try shark and bake, or if you would ever eat a shark. If you have, let me know. And maybe comment out some other recipes you'd like to see me do in the future if I catch another shark. Well, that's all I got to do. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. We got these air rifles, we got our friends, we got Iguana removal to do right now. So we got to go, I'm going to finish this sandwich. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace.